guys welcome to my first official youtube channel so today i'm actually going to show you how to do the graduation stove well how to print out the graduation stove using your 7710 or your 7720 printer so this video is kind of towards people who don't have the large format printer like myself and yes you can print an all over graduation stove and even an all over shirt using your 7710 and your 7720 epson sublimation printer okay so thank you for subscribing to my channel i will be you know delighted to upload videos of product reviews uh me actually working on my materials for my clients so we're going to go ahead and get started and i'm going to show you the materials that will be listed in the link below for you to purchase okay so if you haven't already purchased my um my graduation stone template the link will be listed below and basically i'm showing you how to print out my template and also you can use this method for any other um template that you purchased somewhere else or even if you made somewhere made it somewhere else okay so let's go ahead and watch and stay tuned so let's go ahead and get started you guys <music> you guys so here are the materials that i will be using for this video of course we will need our graduation store which you can already see are already designed pre-made design already okay and also this is where i got my blanks from so i will put their link um below so you can know where to get your blanks for your um graduation Okay, so we will be using the blank graduation stove. Also, I will be using the Ace uh, Sublimation Roll Paper, which I also will put a link so you can um, buy as well, okay? So this costs probably like $27. And of course, you would need your butcher paper, your heat tape, and also your measurements, well, your measuring tape and a pair of box cutter okay and you will see why i need all of this okay so before we even print out the the graduation stone i need to measure my paper so the graduation stone is really 30 inches okay so we're doing a full bleed so i'm actually going to measure out 31 inches of sublimation paper so this is why i need my measuring tape so i can measure it out okay so i'm going to take my sublimation paper and no i do not put the roll inside my paper i measure it out first and then i put it inside my printer okay all right all right, so I'm going to take my measurement, and I need to buy another one too, you guys. All right, so I'm going to take my paper, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure out until I get to 31. And the reason why I do 31 is because I want that bleed, you know. So if I do 30, it would be like I'm trying it. So you always want to be on the safe side when you do sublimation. You always want to make a little room for extra, just in case if something does mess, uh, mess up. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm at 31. So this is where I'm going to start cutting. Okay, so I'm going to cut right here. So you can take your box cutter or you can just take anything and just cut. sublimation paper it's a little bit it's not really different but it don't have the logo at the back so be mindful of, of how to actually print it out so if you do buy this paper just know that you can feel the texture of the paper the rough side you will want that to be face, facing down okay so the rough side of the paper this is where your your design is going to print on so this needs to be facing down 
inside your printer okay so you see how long this is and with this paper i'm able to add both of my designs on this sheet okay so this is measured at 31 and also uh by 13. so here's another tip to um, prevent your printer from um, getting jammed what you need to do is you need to cut down probably a half an inch so that way you can avoid your printer to not jam up however sometimes with the 7710 um it still gets jammed up anyways so it's like a, a risk that you're taking so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my box cutter and i'm just going to trim off probably an inch okay so I'm just going to trim off an inch and I do that so I won't have to have that printer jam when it's time to print my design. So I'm taking my box cutter and I'm just taking off a little bit because honestly, your printer, if you don't know your printer, your printer only goes up to 12.95 and that's with the width. Now the height, it can go up. But with the width, it only goes up to 12.95. And I'm only speaking in terms of the 7710 and the 7720. Because I have the 7710. Any other printer, you would have to see how, how much they go up to. Okay, so this is how much I cut off. Which isn't too much. Okay. So here's my paper. So now I'm going to turn my camera around so we can show you the process of how I put it inside my paper. And most people think, oh, okay, you can put it into the rear. Well, I tried that. And however, my paper really didn't um, read. So I actually put it inside the front part, the main tray. Okay. So if you do have my template, um, you know that you would have to, you know, put in your measurements to print, which I will give you the measurements for printing. On. All right, you guys. So I'm actually doing a voiceover because I don't know. I guess I lost my audio. But um, now it's time to start printing. And what I'm doing here is, you know, I'm making sure that my paper, my rough side is at the bottom and my smooth top my smooth side is at the top of the page okay so you will need to use your main tray um go ahead and adjust it all the way out and then you will see where i will put in the paper inside and yes your paper will your paper will hang off no worries and also you will also notice that sometimes your printer will not recognize your paper because you know it's a sublimation roll paper meaning that it's not really flat it's rolled so it's going to be curled up so it's not going to recognize your paper and you're going to get this error saying out of paper no worries just fix it until it doesn't say you know say no paper anymore and try to get it flat as possible okay so um also what you would need to do once you put in, once you put your paper inside your tray you would need to go ahead and change the um, paper size so you will go to user define and then you will go to the top and you will type in 12.95 and at the bottom you will type in 31 okay so once you finish that go ahead and press okay and then you can start printing and make sure when you do print on your computer it has the same size paper as it is in your printer okay so um you know you get to see this magic where you see both of my graduation stoles are printed on um on the paper and also you can see the quality of the ink and it is not dull it is really vibrant to be honest and once you you can tell that once that quality came out like you know that once i pressed it oh my gosh it's going to be awesome so um stay tuned and keep watching and i'll fast forward the video So now it 
it's time to go ahead and tape our design to our graduation stole. As you can see, I already cut it out and look at this. Look at the quality of this. Like, it's not even dull. Like, you can tell that this right here is going to be phenomenal. Like, look at that quality of the ink. Look at that. Look at it. That's how you know that your item is about to be on fire. Okay. So, I'm going to start off with this first by taping it down. Okay. So, it doesn't matter what side that you use uh, to sub on. So, I'm just going to sub. I'm going to actually sub on this side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. Okay. So, I'm going to flip it over. And I'm just going to carefully line this up together. Okay. And I'm going to tape it down using my heat tape. And you want to go ahead and set your heat press uh, for 400 degrees. I have a Celsius heat press. It was by mistake. I didn't know that I was getting one that was Celsius. So, mine's is reading um, like 155 uh, Celsius, you know, to convert it to that 400 degrees. And, of course, for 60 seconds. Okay. So I'm just taping this down. Doesn't matter as long as it's taped down. Okay. All right. So when I get up to the top, as you can see, you don't want this to bleed through. So what I normally do is I take my box cutter and I cut it diagonally. Okay. So only thing I can do is just fold this back. And then I'm just going to cut diagonally. Okay? So that way it's not bleeding on. It's not bleeding on the other side. Okay? So, like a triangle. And then you should be good. And as you can see... I might want to cut it off a little bit, a little bit because I don't want it to bleed over to the other side because we're doing a different color. Okay, so I'm going to trim it off just a little bit. Well, I don't want to, well, I don't want to trim it off too bad. Okay, that should be okay. And I'll just tape it down. Cut this off. All right. All right, I think we should be good. We should be good. All right. So let's go ahead and turn it over to our heat press. And I do have a 16 by 20 heat press. And I will have to actually press this four times. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get started again. So we did the, the bottom part, now I'm going to do the top portion. Okay, so look what we have here, you guys. This is too cute, too cute. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and um, do the other one, um, take down the other side. Okay. So let's get this paper out the way. Let's take down the other side.
Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and press the other side. And after that, we will be done. Let's see what we have, you guys. Let's see what we got. All right. Oh, this is too pretty. Too pretty. Too pretty. Too pretty, you guys. Love it. So thank you for watching, you guys. So if you would like to watch more from me and actually learn how to design your gra um, graduation stole, you can head over to my Photoshop course and roll in today. Thank you and have a great day.